Hello all, my name is Rob. This is going to be a quick video guide to the Deposed King. We're starting at the Eternal Throne, and we are now going to fast travel to the lair of the Deposed King in the middle of the Leviathan Gorge. As we descend into the Deposed King's lair, there's going to be multiple levels. You're going to want to skip the first level and go straight down to the second. Crossing this ravine will bring us to the chest that has the skeleton key in it. Please note there is also a boatman coin located above the chest. I failed to grab it and had to backtrack later. As it turns out, the third level of the lair has a death tomb in it, which requires a key from Volgrim in order to enter. Backtrack up to the first level so that you can continue. After killing the scarabs in the main area and beginning the wall running segment, you'll notice that the path splits off in two directions, one going down to a group of skeletons, the other going to the left. If you follow the path to the left, it will bring you to a Soul Arbiter scroll. If you were like me and not paying attention earlier, that is the boatman coin you missed above the chest. Come <laughs> on. 
Don't miss the relic of Etu Goth hidden in the corner. Unfortunately, I still haven't figured out a way to destroy these partially invisible creatures. Two rooms on either side of the corridor leading to the boss fight aren't filled with anything in particular. There are just a couple enemies that you can kill if you need help. I'm going to skip clearing the trash in the two preceding rooms and go right to the boss. This fight can actually be quite difficult if you haven't learned how to dodge his attacks properly. The biggest thing to note is to always dodge to the side. Try not to dodge backwards. This is because when he attacks with his mace, there's a chance, even if you're not directly hit by it, that you'll be encased in ice. You can minimize this by dodging to the side. Aside from his basic overhead swing, there is also a shield dash attack that can easily be avoided by dodging to the side. Despite having a large pool of health and very damaging attacks, if you keep up the basic pattern of dodging until he gets stuck and then attacking him, the boss fight should go fairly smoothly. At 50% life, he will start doing a whirlwind attack. This can be avoided by running away from him and dodging forward.
Once he has fallen and you've collected your loot from the two chests in the back, return to Thane to turn in the quest. If this is the last creature he has tasked you with killing, you will also receive the Like a Nos achievement. I found Agu. Once he was king of the dead. <laughs> Trust you remember to bow before you killed him. There are creatures yet that will prove your equal. Once again, thank you all for watching, and have a good one.